Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. Today, let's dive into reference lines in Power BI. Those handy little tools that help you add context and insights to your visuals. And here's the exciting part. The March 2025 Power BI update just dropped some awesome enhancements to reference lines, making them more flexible and powerful than ever. Whether you're a data newbie or a seasoned analyst, this tutorial's got you covered. I'll walk you through the basics, show you how to use these lines like a pro and spotlight the brand new features like improved shading options and dynamic positioning that rolled out just a few weeks ago. By the end of this video, you'll be ready to level up your reports with some serious visual flair. So grab your coffee, fire up Power BI and let's get started. I've added a clustered column chart in my Power BI report to start this demo. Let's head to the format tab where you will find the option for reference line. Let's expand reference line and here you have an option to add a line and you can add as many lines as you want to display on your visual. And once you add a line here, the next option here that you have to choose is the type of line that you want to add. Now these type of lines differ based on the chart that you have added to the visual. For example, in the clustered column chart here, I have constant line, minimum line, maximum line, average line, median line and percentile line. So all of these different line types are available when you add a clustered column chart. But the moment I change this into a stacked column chart, now when I expand the type here, you see that I only have an option here to add a constant line. Now let's take a look at another option here. If I add stacked bar chart and when I go to type here, I only have an option to add a constant line. Let's head over to the clustered bar chart here and you will see that I now have the rest of the types as well. Now let's head to the line chart. In the line chart, when I expand type here, I again have some of the options here like y-axis constant line, minimum line, max line, average line, medium line, and percentile line. I have all of these options here. Likewise, when I go into my area chart, I have all of these options again. Now let's switch to line and stacked column chart. When I expand type here, you only see y-axis constant line. Likewise, when I select the line and clustered column chart, I have all of these options again. So the reason why I'm explaining this is for you to understand that not all the visuals have all of these reference lines items. If you have to use max line, min line and all of that, you have to use certain type of visuals and in certain type of visuals, it's restricted only to the constant line. Now let's move on. I'm going to go to the clustered column chart here and under type, I have all of these lines. So the first option that I have here is a constant line. When you select constant line, automatically the line here is added at zero and you can enter the value here manually. Let us say, for example, you want to enter the constant line here at 1 million or let us reduce this to 500K. You see that at 500K, a line, constant line has been added and you can also make this dynamic. Let us say that you want to create a dynamic value using a measure, you can do that. Simply click on this FX button and create a measure beforehand and then choose the measure that you want to add in here, select OK, and then the dynamic reference line will get created for you. And the next option here is you can control the color of that particular reference line. You see that I've now changed this to orange and then you can also control the transparency. You can either increase the transparency or decrease the transparency. Let's decrease the transparency for now. And the next option here is the line style, whether you want a dashed or you want a solid line or you have dotted or you have an option for custom as well where you can enter the array to choose the design of your choice. You can also scale this by width and we also have an option here for dash cap, whether you want a flat cap, round cap or a square. And you also can control the width from here of the reference line. And the next option here is to control the position, whether you want this in the front or behind. When I choose behind, you will see that my columns here are now appearing on the front and my line is appearing behind. And the next section here is the shared area. Now this is the new release that has happened in the month of March 2025. You can shade the area here of the reference lines. Let's toggle this on. Over here, you also get an option to control the position of the shade area, whether you want it before or after. When I select before, the bottom area here is shaded. And when I change this to after, the above area or the top 
part of the area is now shaded. You can also change this or match line color. When I toggle this on, the line color will get highlighted in the shade area. And also here you can control the transparency. You can increase or decrease the transparency. Now, another thing to note here is that based on the position that you select for your reference line, the same position will be applied for your shade area as well. Since this is set to behind, my shaded area is now behind. When I change the position here to front, the shaded area will also be appearing on the front of the visual. Let's increase the transparency back to about 50% and you will see that we have this option now. And the next option that we have here is the data label. In the data label, the first option that we have here is to control the horizontal position. Whether you want to display this on the left or on the right, you can select right here to display the data label on the right side. Vertical position, whether you want this above or under, when I choose above, it will show in the above area here or when I choose under, it will show below the area. And the style data value here, name, constant line one, you can rename the constant line from here. You can simply click on this edit button and give it a name. If let's say, for example, I'm just going to call this as average line, for example, I can change the value from here. You can control the style from here, whether you want to display just the data value or you want to just display the name or you want to display both, which is the data value as well as the name. You can change the color of the data label here. Display units, you can change this to millions, billions here, etc. And then you can also control the value decimal places right from here. All right. So this was about reference lines when you select constant line. Now there are other options here as well, like you have a minimum line. In the minimum line here, you get to choose the series, whether you want the sum of profit. If you have multiple here, you can simply add them. And you get an option here now to choose whether the minimum line here is based on sum of sales or sum of profit. You see that the minimum here that we have is getting highlighted. Likewise, if I choose profit, the minimum profit will get highlighted over here. And likewise, we have maximum line here and we have average line, we have median line, and we also have a percentile line. And you can, when you choose percentile line here, you can choose the percentile here. For example, let us say you want 75th percentile here. You can choose that right from here. You can control the transparency and all of that is available. Now let's talk about the next update for line and stack column chart and line and clustered column charts. They now support the reference line on Y axis as well. So let's come back to Power BI. I now have the clustered column chart. Let's quickly change this into a line and stack column chart. This is where the new feature is added. Now let's go to the reference line and click on add line. I now, when I go under type here, I see that I can add a Y axis constant line. I don't have an option here to also add the X axis constant line. The reason why I don't have this here is because on the X axis, I have a category. Now this needs to be a continuous axis. So if I remove this and bring in the order date into my X axis and let me get rid of this and just have year. And now let me click on add line here. And when I go into my type here, you see that I can now also add an X axis constant line. The Y axis here is the new addition that is added into this visual. Earlier, you could only add X axis constant line. But in the with the March 2025 update, you are also able to add a constant line on Y axis as well. So let's see this, how this works. So on the X axis here, let me enter a value. Year 2022, you can see that I've now added a constant line here. Let's also change the color here to orange. And let's decrease the transparency to about zero. And let's also change the line style to solid. And now I've added the X axis reference line. Let's go to the Y axis reference line now. And let's change this to Y axis constant line. In my Y axis constant line here, I can enter a value. Let us say that I want to add a constant line at 2 million. So let me quickly add that. And now you can see that I have a constant line here. Let's also change the color to orange, drop the transparency to zero and change the line style to solid. And you can see that we've now added a reference line here. We can also highlight any of the key events that have happened during this particular time. And we can also shade this particular area. And you can see that let's change this match line color and in increase the transparency to about 75%. This is looking good. And you can also change the position here. Let's also shift this to behind. So with this, we have come towards the end of the tutorial. I hope the detailed breakdown of reference lines is helpful for you to understand which visual has which constant line and so on. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.